What is going on guys? It is Parker here bringing y'all another video. Now last year we took a look at the Dead Game Huracan V1 sub. Great sounding big old beefy monster sub. This thing was awesome but today we have something even better. This is the much new and improved Huracan V2. This thing looks epic guys. Stay tuned. Going on, Basehead family. It is Parker here bringing y'all another Basehead video, and that is right. We have the Huracan V2 over here by Dead Game. This sub looks insane. Cannot wait to get into this thing. Paul over at G2 Dynamics sent me out this guy to check out for y'all. So huge, huge shout out to him. Thank you so much. There is a link in the description below to G2 Dynamics website. They're a distributor for a bunch of brands like Dead Game. So yeah, totally check them out. Super excited. Really, really great guys over there that just love car audio. So really happy to be working with them on this video. Let's get into this thing, guys. I'm going to be comparing the two of these going over uh, what we got going on here and what's new. First off, I'll give you all a nice look up at this big old beefy sub. This thing is a monster. Look at that beautiful, beautiful spider in there. And of course a gorgeous high tint black voice coil. And then this massive motor. And we got these big old push terminals this guy is epic let's go ahead and run through the specs on this guy now this sub usually retails for 379 now everybody always complains that when i make a video the companies instantly go raise prices on their subs i'm not sure really how true that is or if it's just prices were going to get raised anyway but this is not the case here paul over at g2 dynamics said he's actually going to be cutting the price on this thing down to 329 so really really nice price cut for y'all and that's gonna go on for a week or two so jump on that if you want to grab this sub of course we're gonna go through all the courses in this video and see if it is worth that so check out the link in the description to pick up this thing at that reduced price this does have a three inch copper coated aluminum coil and this version has the black voice coil so super high temp really really awesome and it is 1500 watts rms vfs is 32 hertz x max is 30 millimeters in one direction so that is excellent sensitivity is 84.9 db cutout diameter is 11 and 5 16 inches and the mounting depth is 8 and 3 8 inches this thing weighs 53.9 pounds that is insane and let me tell you what this guy is heavy. The displacement on it is 0.33 cubic feet. It likes a box around 2 to 2.5 cubic feet, tuned anywhere from 29 to 38 hertz. Let's go over this thing, guys. We have very nice stiff dust cap, this big mega roll surround, very stiff cone, nice paper cone. We have this beautiful spider. I love the green stitching over this thing. Gives it just a really, really cool look. We have uh, two strands of wire going to each coil for the tinsel leads. We have these really, really nice big push terminals. Could easily fit eight, six, or probably even four gauge wire in there. Makes it really, really easy for when you're running, you know, two strands of wire into each terminal. We have this big, beautiful, three-inch black voice coil. Guys, you all know I love the black voice coils. They just always seem to do better than voice coils when they don't have that coating on there. And then we have this big, beefy 300-ounce motor. And this thing is heavy. Let me tell you what, it is a pain to get out of the box. And I love this polished look on, on the back. It gives a really nice contrast, of course, 
dead game audio. Really, really cool. Now, real quick, let's go ahead and just kind of see what they changed over the V1. Really, really cool to see a company uh, putting out a really great sub and then listening to their cust customers and changing stuff up just to make it bigger and better. So everything on top looks to be pretty similar, but we do have an upgraded suspension on this as opposed to the old one. This, of course, is a double spider, but they upgraded the suspension. And one really big thing, in my opinion, they upgraded the voice coil. We have a little different just polish on the basket. Of course, it's got the more gloss look here as opposed to the matte look over here. Now, we also had direct leads on the original, which they switched to the terminals on this one. In my opinion, just makes overall installation a lot easier having the terminals, but they did have really nice direct leads on the original version, if that's your thing. And then we do have a bigger top and bottom plate on uh, the motor. And of course, they went to this polished look as opposed to just the full uh, black look that they had on the previous one. Well, that is enough of me talking. Let's get this thing in the car, see how it sounds, see how much it moves, see how much it rattles the car. And of course, we'll run all the usual tests on this thing to see how it does on that RMS power and how loud we can get it. Let's get her in there. Well, we got it in there. Look at that massive, massive motor. Looks really awesome in the box, but we're gonna let this thing break in for a few days and then we will continue. And move could you believe that we had that thing stretching hard this thing is epic and it gets nice and low really really windy and shakes the car sounds awesome
but this thing sounds really good over kind of the full bass spectrum. Great for just regular bumping back and forth to work, but if you really want to turn it up or if you want to smash some of those lows, this thing is actually pretty impressive. So far, absolutely loving it, and it's given me no smells, hasn't got really super hot or anything like that, and I've been pushing it pretty, pretty hard here. Well guys, let's get into some tests. We're of course gonna do the musical RMS test just to see if we can make it through a full song as RMS power or as close to there as we can get it. Now, this thing is only rated at 1500 watts RMS, which in my opinion is a pretty conservative rating. So we're really gonna push on it here and see what it can do. And then we'll do the DB test and just see how loud we can get this thing. Let's get to it. We have the SMD A MM1 hooked up so we can monitor the real time power. Of course, it has a clipping light on it, and we have a clipping light here as well. Just so y'all can see, there is no clipping going through this thing. We have Gilligan by Dram playing. Let's get to it. had that thing absolutely moving. I really wanted to push that. I figure a $330 sub really better take some power. So I was pushing it there for that test and it made it through all the way. I did smell a little bit of glue smell, but it wasn't anything major. Definitely expected that. Of course, there is some nice warmth over here on the dust cap, but nothing super hot. So it seems to be pretty efficient, and it made it through that whole song just fine. Next up, we're going to do the uh, DB test. Now, I am at a little bit of a disadvantage here. This is a dual 4-ohm sub, so the lowest I can wire it is 2 ohms. So we're not going to get the full potential out of my amp, but we're still going to see what we can do. Now, I got a new app. It's called the Ultimate Car Audio app, and it is really, really neat. You can do a bunch of different stuff. One neat thing we can do, we're going to do a sweep with uh, this app and then my meter over here will actually tell me what hurts uh, the, this uh, peaks at. So let's go ahead and see what it does. We got a 130 over here. And that was at 43 hertz. So now that we know this thing uh, peaks at 43 hertz, we can set this to 43 hertz and then we can see what it does. Let's turn this guy on so we can monitor the power. Let's see what it does. Woo, that thing moves. Says only 2,000 watts. And a 143. Woo, moving really, really good there. That was 2,900 watts. Our ohms did rise to 5.2, but not bad at all, got a 143.2. Well, a 143, in my opinion, is not bad at all for one single 12, especially considering how large this cabin is. It takes a lot to really pressurize this thing and get a good reading, so this sub is tough and it did awesome. Guys, let me know what you think for 329 bucks. This is a beefy old sub that takes some power Sounds really, really good, really, really clean. Just an overall great quality slash tough sub. Now, if you'll remember a little while back, we did a review of the SCAR ZVX. And that was also a $329 sub. Now, that sub was great. I loved that sub. But what that sub lacked that this guy has, that sub was great for really getting loud and just throwing some raw power at it. But the quality on it, it was fine for my, in my opinion but it definitely wasn't amazing quality, whereas this guy, definitely bumping it up just in the overall sound quality as a whole. 
definitely sounds better just bumping everyday music, bumping all kinds of music and whatnot. So overall, I think this sub is awesome. Well guys, let me know what you thought of this sub. There will be another Dead Game sub coming to the channel here soon. So stay tuned for that. Remember, Paul is putting these on sale for the next, I think he said a week or two. He wasn't exactly sure, but definitely if you want to grab one of these at an awesome price, go for it guys and let me know what you think. Go check out that link in the description below. That is an affiliate link. So should you purchase a sub through that link, it helps out the channel a little bit, which is huge, guys. Every little bit helps, especially when you're spending money on all this stuff here. And I'm going through and planning the next big build for the Sundown Show. Of course, we're going to be using this box again for the 612s, but we're going to be throwing more power at it, and we're going to have bigger subs this time. And I want to do some other stuff with my doors and just some other crazy stuff as well. So again... Every little bit helps, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Real quick, just for all my subscribers, we have the two Black Brick BB2 subs that we're going to be giving away here in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. All you got to do is be subscribed and check into the videos for the announcement on that. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Please go check out G2's website in the link below. And if you want to get that sub, there'll be a link for that as well. Big, big shout out to Paul over at G2 Dynamics for helping out the channel by sending me a few subs to review. Huge, huge help here, and I am so, so appreciative of it. Guys, thank you all so much. So appreciative of y'all as well. I couldn't do what I do without you. So please smash that like button, hit that subscribe if you want to see more videos, and just stay tuned, guys. Keep basing on.